Welcome, space enthusiasts, science aficionados, and curious minds to a brand new video series that is bound to send your imagination soaring through the stratosphere, past the moon, and all the way to the red planet itself. Before we embark on this cosmic journey, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to stay updated on all our future episodes. The series you've just stumbled upon is no ordinary one. It's a deep dive into a subject that has captivated humanity for generations, Mars colonization. This is turning the red planet green, the feasibility and challenges of populating Mars. Imagine a world where Mars isn't just a red dot in the night sky, but a place where humans live, work and dream. A place with its own cities, lakes, and perhaps even a new form of governance. It may sound like a storyline ripped from the pages of a science fiction novel, but it's a future that scientists, engineers and visionaries are actively working to make a reality. And in this series, we'll take you through every fascinating detail from the science of terraforming to the potential for agriculture on Martian soil. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. The first step to any grand journey is, well, taking that first step. And our first episode is aptly titled Introduction to Mars Colonization. Why Mars, you ask? Why not the Moon or Venus? What makes Mars such an intriguing candidate for colonization? In today's episode, we'll delve into the allure of the red planet. Mars is not just Earth's neighbor. In many ways, it's like Earth's younger sibling. It's smaller, yes, but it has striking geographical features that are eerily reminiscent of our home. There are canyons that dwarf the Grand Canyon, and it has the tallest volcano in the solar system, Olympus Mons, which stands at a towering height of 13.6 kilometers, nearly three times the height of Mount Everest. But it's not just about what Mars has, it's about what it could become. We'll explore the idea that Mars isn't just a destination for rovers and robots, but a potential new home for humans, a place where we could build a future and perhaps learn more about our past. You see, one of the most enticing possibilities that Mars presents is the search for past life. While no life has been discovered there yet, the conditions on ancient Mars might have been suitable for some form of life. What could be more profound than finding evidence that life is not unique to Earth? Beyond that, we'll also discuss the technological advancements that could make this vision a reality. From advancements in propulsion systems that could get us there faster to life support systems that could sustain us once we're there, we're on the brink of turning what was once pure fantasy into achievable reality. So sit back, relax, and let your imagination take flight. Whether you're a scientist looking for factual insights or just someone intrigued by the boundless possibilities of the future, this series is for you. We'll embark on this journey together, one that will challenge our understanding of what's possible and force us to confront the very essence of what it means to be human. If you're ready for a journey of interplanetary proportions, then you're in the right place. Stick around because we're just getting started and the road ahead promises to be nothing short of extraordinary. Certainly. Let's dive into two very specific aspects that have captured humanity's imagination for generations, the history of exploring Mars and the tantalizing dream of making it habitable. The history of Mars exploration is a story of ambition, ingenuity, and unyielding curiosity. In the early days, our knowledge of the red planet was confined to blurry telescopic observations. The Italian astronomer Giovanni Schiaparelli reported seeing canali or channels on Mars in 1877. This term was misinterpreted as canals, leading to widespread speculation about the possibility of intelligent life on Mars. Later telescopic observations, however, would debunk this idea, showing that these features were merely optical illusions. It wasn't until the space age that we could get a closer look. The first missions to Mars were flybys, conducted by the United States in the 1960s, specifically by the Mariner spacecraft. These missions provided the first close-up pictures of the Martian surface, revealing a world of craters and dry river valleys, stirring both excitement and debate among scientists. Then came the landers and the rovers, the real heroes of Martian exploration. Viking 1 and Viking 2, both launched in 1975, were the first to successfully land on Mars and send back data. They provided invaluable information, but didn't find any conclusive evidence of life. 
Fast forward to the 21st century, and we have rovers like Spirit, Opportunity and Curiosity, which have roamed the Martian terrain, conducting various types of geological and climate studies. Curiosity, in particular, has even discovered evidence of ancient water flows in river valleys and lakes, making us rethink the planet's potential to support life in the past. The crowning jewel, as of now, is the Perseverance rover, which landed in February 2021. It's tasked not just with exploring the planet, but also collecting samples that could eventually be returned to Earth, providing first-hand evidence of the planet's makeup. The hope is that these missions pave the way for human exploration in the not-so-distant future. Which brings us to the next awe-inspiring topic, the dream of making Mars habitable. Terraforming Mars is an idea that sounds straight out of science fiction, but it is gradually entering the realm of science possibility. The fundamental concept is to transform the Martian environment to make it Earth-like, with a breathable atmosphere and liquid water on the surface. How would we do this? One idea is to release greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide into the Martian atmosphere, either by manufacturing them or by liberating them from the planet's soil or polar ice caps. The increased carbon dioxide would trap heat, thereby raising the planet's average temperature. This would initiate a cycle, melting more ice, releasing more carbon dioxide and further warming the planet. Over time, if all goes as planned, Mars could potentially have an atmosphere thick enough to support liquid water on its surface. Another radical idea is to place gigantic mirrors in orbit around Mars to reflect sunlight onto the planet's surface. These mirrors would increase the solar energy reaching Mars, contributing to the warming effect. While the engineering challenges are monumental, the theoretical underpinnings suggest that it could be possible. But this dream isn't just a matter of changing temperatures and atmospheres. It's a question of ethics, too. Do we have the right to transform another planet? What if there are microbial life forms that we haven't yet discovered? These ethical questions are as crucial as the scientific and engineering challenges we face. To sum it up, the history of Mars exploration is a testament to human curiosity and technological prowess, taking us from telescopic observations to roving robots. The dream of making Mars habitable is the next frontier a vision so audacious that it has the potential to change not just our future on Mars, but our understanding of life and our place in the universe. In this grand tapestry of exploration and imagination, Mars serves not just as a destination, but as a mirror reflecting our own potential for innovation, audacity, and perhaps interplanetary expansion.